What's up guys? Welcome back to the OBS Super User Guidebook. We're going over plugins that help enhance your graphics and you should know about the Move Transitions plugin. It helps you create beautiful transitions in between your scenes, but it also can be applied to specific inputs using new filters. Let's take a look. Really quickly, just want to remind everybody the OBS Super User Guidebook is available for free in the links below. You can get a paperback copy on Amazon if you would like. And if you like this video, hit the like button to let us know. It helps us understand what you guys want to see more of. And hit the red subscribe button because we're going to be creating so many great new videos. You won't become a video production expert overnight, but together in this industry, there's so much we can learn. And if we're doing something wrong, let us know in the comments below. You know, we would be happy to reply to your comments even if you have a question about the content. All right, let's start. All right, so downloading Move Transitions, of course, happens at the OBS forum. You can see here we've got Windows, Linux, and Mac all supported. No matter what you're doing out there, you're going to be able to use this filter and plugin. So the way I'm going to show this off is I'm going to show you in a couple different ways. This plugin allows you to, to create new custom scene transitions inside of OBS. It allows you to create a dedicated filter for transitions inside of OBS, meaning transitioning actual pieces of your scenes, right? The sources. And then it can also be an override, a transition override on any scene to allow you to kind of really kind of move, merge, and do beautiful things with scenes and sources inside of OBS. So to get started, we need to add a move. So in the scenes transitions, and if you're not seeing your scenes transitions for some reason, you can go up to view docs, scene transitions, make sure that's open, and you can add a move and you give it a name. Now, I wish you could give it a name maybe later and I, you can rename it later. So I'm just gonna do move two because Generally, you're playing around and creating a move before you know what the move is. And in general, you know, you can skip a lot of the stuff at the very beginning, in the beginning, and you can just think about, all right, how is this item going to appear when it comes into the scene, when it's transitioned in, and how is it going to disappear? How is it going to move out of the scene? So from an appearance perspective, choose either easing in and easing out. We've got a couple different functions that uh, and sign is one of the best ones, but a couple different functions of how it eases in and out. We have the ability to have it zoom and then choose where it zooms from. So let's choose away from the center. And what we can do is we can actually go ahead and preview this as we're doing it. So you can see that's going to move from the bottom away from center. Let's choose that to center now. And you can see that one actually works a lot better. We've got center and center right. You know, center left would probably make a lot of sense for when it, when it comes in. And then center right as it disappears. So let's, let's do that for this one. And that creates a transition. So that's move two. Now, I believe if we, we can rename it at this point. So move in left move out right. So you can rename it once you've created this custom move transition. Now, once that move transition is selected and you've kind of, we're using it here, we'll do 1000 milliseconds. As we move between scenes, that will be applied. So you can see here that that move in and move out is being applied. That's the transition that we're using. Now, you can create custom transitions by right-clicking your scene and choosing a transition override with one of the move transitions that you've created. Just keep in mind when you do that, you actually get a custom transition duration as well. So don't forget to customize that. Where there's a couple places where move transitions start to get really interesting. And that's when you're moving between one scene into another scene where you have some of the same elements. So for example, you can see the, these two scenes have share a few different things. So in this scene, we're kind of, you can see that the transition is actually moving the scenes as they come, they get transitioned to. 
So that's pretty cool. So now we can start to build areas where your webcam is moving from one place to the next. Things are getting bigger, things are getting smaller. You can, as you can see in scene two, the geek head is not there. So it just moves out of the scene. You see that little geek head there. It just moves right out. The other part of this, so what I would suggest for you and challenge you to do is to take one of your scenes that you've spent a lot of time on. You've got webcams, you've got your desktop capture, you've got maybe some overlays, and then duplicate that scene, which is what I did here. So you can go ahead and duplicate the scene and then move some things around, right? Maybe, maybe we want to go full screen with this video. We want to move the media source up on top and I'll move the media source to the bottom just as an example. And we'll put the geek head over here and I'll scroll this scene up here. Now you can see things kind of move and shift depending on where it is. It's kind of like a merge function. Now, the other part of this, which is really cool, is that you also have the ability, and this is just actually default available inside of OBS 27 or later, the ability to create show transitions and move transitions. And of course, using the move transition, we have a really cool ability to create easing in and easing out. So now you, you can see that we can actually have sources and it be, become animated and visible as we toggle the visibility on and off. And I'll show an example of this. You know, a, a really good example of this would be to have it slide in and slide out. Now, in order to create custom move transitions for this, we would go ahead and when we select the move, now we have the opportunity to come in here and say exactly what we want it to do. We just want it to ease in and we want it to come from let's say the left here and disappear from the right. Let's see how that looks. Whoop. Now the zooming function, by the way, doesn't always match exactly what you need. So I'm gonna turn the zooms off and I think it'll look better. There we go, see that on the visibility end? Kind of slides in, I feel like that could look really good with the right amount of, let's take that transition time down. So there's the transition time to 500. We like that. And then let's do the hide transition time also to 500. We're gonna make the move, it's got the zoom on still. The, move, the in and out are both different. And then as it disappears, we'll have it go from the right. Oh, maybe that should be to the left, shouldn't it? But you get you get the point here. So on the hide, we'll have that go to there. We go. Slides in, slides out. So there's a lot you can do with this. Obviously, very powerful plugin for OBS, and I challenge you to start trying it out and learning about it. Wow, I have been using video production softwares for about five to seven years, and they all have these types of features, but now it's available in OBS, so it's a big deal. I would love to know what you guys think. I'd love to see what you guys make. You saw all the functionality in this video. Our next graphical overlay is going to be closed captions, so stick around for that in our next video.